also in danger. One of the Earth's most unique natural wonders, the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia, the largest structure of living organisms on the planet. But the ocean is far too warm for the corals. Unlike birds or other migratory species, coral cannot escape when they're threatened by their environment. Marine biologist Ove Hugh Goldberg checks on the reefs near the Great Keppel Island. He only needs one glance to know that these corals are in trouble. Wow, this is amazing. Everywhere I look, all I can see is bleached corals, corals that are nobly brown, are now glowing a brilliant white. The reef appears bleached because the algae that normally live with the corals and gives the reef its brilliant color has been driven away by higher temperatures. The machine I have in my hands here is essentially a plant stress meter. This particular machine can tell the efficiency with which the algae in these bleached corals are processing light. I can put this down here where I've got some zooxanthellae still left. And I press a button and it tells me that most of the algae that are left in these corals are severely damaged. And they've been damaged by a combination of heat and light. The algae also provides the corals with critical nourishment. Without the algae, the corals can't survive. Neither can the countless marine species that call these reefs home. This is the third bleaching event in the last eight years of the Great Barrier Reef. And as predicted, they're getting more frequent and more severe. And of course, personally, I find that rather frightening. 